We are getting there. Hey there, everyone. This is Aokao playing uh, McDonald's and the Sega corporate, uh, you know, mutually beneficial commercial joint project. And, wow. <laughs> Amy and Ruse Dennis. You got McDonald's branding right there in the ads. And Sega. Amy's here. It's like, hey. And then Ruse is there too. They're both like in the handle, so your hands are all over their faces while you're playing. You got two arrows and we got a button and they're gonna be playing tennis. Unbelievable. That's what the backside looks like. It's very pink. So, you know, if you were a boy and you were like, oh boy, I'm gonna get a McDonald's toy. Then you get the Amy and Rouge tennis game. And you're like, so mad because children are dumb. All right, Amy. Look, I mean, look. I I was I was like I was a small boy once in my life. I know how it's like. Uh, all right. But, okay, yeah, that does show Amy. So we'll be playing as Amy here. Moving light, right? If your opponent fails to turn, oh, we're playing tug of war. It looks like to advance the level, the advantage bar means be fully to the left, and then it gets faster, more better, good. Okay. And if you look at the control, left, right, and space bar. My favorite friends. All right, well, let's get on to it. All right, oh, it's that sound. So it's the knuckle soccer, tail soccer game in the way the ball is flying, except you gotta press a button. Whoops, and um, I move too much to the side. I mean, I like the tug of war, though, aspect. Look at that. I'm not sure how I won. This may come as a shock. I don't think I have any say in, um... How did you miss? I don't think I have any say in, uh, where the ball goes. It's kind of... It kind of does. I don't know. Like, maybe the timing could affect something. I have no idea. Alright. Well, more sports should have tug-of-war, though ways to progress whoa that ball warped either that or you made the ball bounce on a wall that should not exist <laughs> why are you cheat well okay why am i asking why are you cheating if you actually cared about tennis at all you totally would because you're you're an anti-hero you know you do the right thing but maybe not for the right reason oh my gosh so edgy but, uh, yeah. So, hi, everyone. So, Cal, Super Sega Star Tennis again. Uh, I like the games where you make an input to interact, though. Like, I, I like the, I like the interact, the need for, for the button. I don't know how, how it feels in, on the actual physical toy, though. Like, maybe once we're done, I should look back at the actual... Uh, thing, but like I'm trying to guess how the button would feel like they look like they might be mushy But it might also look I don't know like I'm like I said we'll take a look once we're there But yeah the 2005 generation of games in terms of like making a game. They're probably the best one I'm pretty sure that they're all recycled from something else or will end up being recycled into something else. Like, that is just the life of an LCD game, I think. But, um... I mean, that's fine, right? As long as... You know, it's okay if there's multiple versions of a game if you end up playing just one of them. But more importantly, like, you're not paying for the game. You're, play you're paying for a Big Mac or some nuggets and some salts with breading. Like, like it's fine. You're, you're, it's fine if there's a little bit of copying, like, because, again, like, you're not paying for the game itself. So, like, it's like, whatever. Like, be happy with the game, I guess. Wow, I missed two in a shot there. So, that's where the tug-of-war system gets you, is that if you're winning, if you're doing good, it feels great. But if you hit a point of struggle, it's a lot more work going back. Yeah, you gotta hit the button earlier rather than late. Like, even if it feels way too early, it's better than too... Well, yeah, because if it's too late, it's just gonna... But I just, I feel like there's more leniency in earliness than in lateness. 
Uh, okay. Alright. Uh, uh-huh. Alright, now we're back to neutral. Okay, maybe there I was too early. I rescind what I was saying. So here's the thing with the game system, though, I have just realized. So, you know, these LCD games, most of their difficulty comes when things go faster, right? When you need to input a button, if the game runs faster, does it impact the time delay between when you press the button to get a thing going and it responding by the game? I hadn't thought about that. But that's okay to not think about some things. Some things, why? Whoa. That old warp ball. It does feel a bit silly how, like, it's just, you're gonna win when you're gonna win. Like, the, still going. Okay. Like, it's just going to happen. Like, you, 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 I am not, whoa, winning through any decision of mine, it feels like. Wow, really? I guess I lost, and the game really wants me to pay attention to Rose. Rose? No. Rouge's ear. It's Amy Rose and Rouge the Bat. Everyone's got colors for the name. It's confusing. That was neat. I just, it's, I don't want to replay to that last part. Like, we get it. When you win, you're going to see all the LCDs. But yeah, I, that button. Does that look like a comfortable button to press? I... I mean, the, the, the left-right doesn't. Like, honestly, it looks like... <laughs> I mean, I know it's not, but it looks like a light switch more than anything. But a big blue button. What does pressing that button feel? I cannot tell. I feel like it might be squishy, but I feel like the button might be, like, really, really thin. So, actually, not that great. And it's right over Amy's head! I don't know what that means. Nothing, really.